she hit me and I just remember like fl flipping, kind of hitting the hood and like rolling. And then just I'm on the ground, look facing the car. The dramatic video shows the moment a man was hit by a car while mowing his aunt's lawn on the northwest side. It happened on Hemp Hill Drive near Sol Ross Middle School yesterday afternoon. As the night team's Devin Clark explains, the man is counting his blessings, but tells us the family actually isn't surprised this happened. Definitely lucky to be alive. Grateful. It was a simple chore, but Michael Gonzalez says while he was cutting his aunt's grass on Hemp Hill Drive, he was almost killed. All of a sudden, I looked up, the car came straight at me and took me out. You can see in this dramatic video captured by a neighbor's surveillance camera, Gonzalez appears to be lifted off the ground. Then, his two sons rush to his aid as the driver reverses. My youngest it was extremely scary. He started panicking and crying. I just yelled for them, sons, uh, call mom, call 911. Fortunately, Gonzalez escaped with just swelling and bruises, but Gonzalez's aunt, who lives in the house, says she's been fighting to prevent these types of crashes since she moved there some two decades ago. Constant speeding up and down the street. Penny Torres says despite reaching out to local lawmakers and getting a petition signed years ago, promises to install speed bumps on her block were never fulfilled. School children walk up and down here. We've seen school children like jump out of the way from vehicles. District 7 Councilwoman Ana Sandoval, who took office just under a year ago, admits Torres' street has issues with speeding and says she is working to help solve the problem. I've recommended this street to have speed bumps installed this, this year uh, because it was one of the higher traffic streets and the speeds were really too high there. In the meantime, Gonzalez has a message for the driver who hit him. Pay attention while you're driving. Now, the speed limit on this block is 30 miles per hour. Sandoval says that speed bumps should be installed here by this September. Now, the family tells me that the driver who caused the crash told police that she was distracted when she dropped food in her car. She was not cited at the scene, but the family says it plans to press charges. Reporting live on the northwest side, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.